What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones, MCJ here, back with another video on Power Automate. And today we are looking at a string function called slice. Slice is a lot like substring. So if you use substring in the past where you can pass in a piece of text and then a start integer and a length, you can then figure out and, and pull out part of a string. So that's what substring does. Slice is kind of like that. You still pass in a text and you still pass in where you want it to start from, but instead of actually giving it a length um, to get to the end of, you pass in where you want it to stop. That means that we can, if we don't know the length of something, but we just know a place where we want things to stop, we can use it there. Uh, we can also use this for some funky stuff around um, minus numbers and negative numbers as well, which I'll show you in this video. Um, it's probably best to just jump into it and show you some examples. So let's get started. Uh, I'm in Power Automate here. I have a manual trigger flow here. So we're going to add a new input and we'll add a text input and we'll call this text to slice. In my compose action down here, I'm going to click into the expressions window. And in the expressions window, I can either type, type in slice here or I can search for it down here. I click on see more. And we can see it's the third option down here. Slice, we can see you need to pass it some text, pass it a start index, and pass it an in end index. Uh, the end index has a question mark next to it, which means that it's an optional parameter. So I don't need to pass it the end index, I can just pass it the text and the start index. So if I choose it from this menu down here, I'll pop up in here and we'll get a little parentheses. Uh, then we will put in some, um, some text for it to um, slice. So we'll go back to our direct values down here and we'll go down to our text to slice. There it is. Great. Uh, we'll add a comma in, and then we need to provide it a start index. So the start index is an integer, so it's a whole number. Where do we want to count and where do we want to start this from? So we'll say we'll start this from position three, and then we will um, we'll count to position seven, for instance. So um, we'll start at three, we'll end at seven, and the text is what we're going to um, what we're going to slice. We'll hit save, goes in there like that, and we'll hit test. So we'll hit test. We'll manually test this, save and test. Uh, Power Automate still wants to know my location, which is still fine. And we'll type in, and we'll go on this near Christmas, we'll type in Merry Christmas. And we'll hit run flow, click done. And we'll go to our compose action, and we can see it it, it has gone, um, <laughs> taking off the uh, M-E-R, and we got R-Y space C. So what we did there was we counted three three characters in. So unlike with some of the uh, s some of the functions, this actually starts from the first character, so there's no, there's no zero. So it starts with the M-E-R, those are the three characters, um, and then we, we're getting the next character after that, so the R-Y space C. So those are the seven characters, so R is the four, five, space, six, seven, C. So that's all cool, that's all groovy, that's that's kind of exactly what we want. Um, but what happens if we say that we don't know what the in end index is? So we'll take the we'll take the seven off. So we'll just say right we're gonna slice we're gonna slice from digit three. Okay, I'll hit save and we'll test that. We'll we'll just run from that same old test that we just did because we know the text, we know it says Merry Christmas. Uh, so we'll run from that one, we'll hit save and test, um, it'll run through, and then we get RY Christmas. So if we don't specify the length, or we don't specify that end index, so the length that we have to specify in the substring, we just don't specify an end index in slice, we actually get the complete rest of the um, the complete rest of the, the word, the complete rest of the phrase, which is great because sometimes you don't know the length, sometimes you just need to strip off those first few characters and just have everything after that. So that's why slice is really useful because that end index is not a required field. That's not cool. What happens though when we say, okay, we don't want three digits, we actually want it from, say, minus one. So minus one is still an integer, it's still a whole number, it's just a negative number. We'll add that in and we'll hit save and we'll again run that with that very same test, the Merry Christmas, and we'll see what it outputs. 
S. Now what that has actually done is instead of um, instead of counting from the start, what it's actually done is it's counted backwards from the end. So it's gone, right, okay, give me that last one digit um, that we put in there. So if I change this a little bit and say minus five, might be a bit of a better example to show you and retest that. We can see it says Esmus. So again, so if we don't know the length or we don't know what we what we need, but we know we need maybe the last five characters in, in that string, we can use this negative number to then pull through things from the uh, from the end. Um, which is which is a really cool feature and that's why slices is, is really useful. So that's when we have negative numbers here. What happens if we have negative numbers at the end index? Minus three. Uh, no space. Minus three. So we're gonna say right start from position two and then minus three from the end index. We'll hit save. We'll test that. Again, same Merry Christmas text that we've got. Hit compose and we see it says RR Christ. So what that has actually done is we've started with that start index which is in the positive. So we've got um, MER um, is missing, uh, but we've got RRY space Christmas or Christ um, and we're, we're removing the last three digits. So we started from second position, um, so ME, taking those off, so we've got RRY, and then instead of having MAS at the end, we've got minus three, so it's taking it from the left, uh, from, from the right. So that's why Slice is so powerful, because we can literally chop and change and, and manipulate these different text strings um, in a multitude of ways using negative numbers and positive numbers um, to get the exact thing that we want out. So Slice is probably going to be my go-to function for any text manipulation or, or text substrings that we need now, because we no longer need to add in a length we can simply add in like we want this from here onwards, we want um, this from this many uh, backwards. So really, really useful function. So what do you guys think? Have you used Slice before? How are you using Slice versus Substring? Let me know in the comments down below. If you did like this video, if you'd like it and share it with your friends, that'd be much appreciated. If you've not already, hit the subscribe button and stay up to date with all my latest videos. I'll see you next time.